Hello everyone and welcome back to the Crypto Moses channel. It's been a fire ass weekend. Market didn't move so much this weekend, but it gives you time to be with family. In my case, working on the businesses. But let's get right into it. This video is all gonna be about BTC Pepe. And then I saw this great fundamentals article. That's, it's a great article that's going over the fundamentals of how this could impact Pepe. And I really kinda wanna go over this Bitcoin, right? Because it is crazy what we saw last week. We saw the double top together. We made that in the last video and I had mentioned that it was a down and I did take a short and I actually had started right here, but it didn't look too well. So I ended up closing it out and I only closed it out at about a 2% gain after fees 1.56. So it wasn't great, but here's what I do know. Okay. Here's what I do know. What we see here is a full blown top, right? There's a lot of hitting points. So that's become the new resistance. We need to push through that in order to even have any buy signals on anybody's end. And then if we make a little support line of where it's looking like here, we see that if it breaks down through this, we have a downturn, right? Like it's, there's no way not around. There's no way that's not going to happen if we don't break that. Now, if we magically go through here, we have a chance. It's a terrible drawing. Discard that. But it, it, as we go through here and this becomes the new support, we have a good chance. It's a good buy signal. But where we are right here, it looks like it's a good, it's not a great buy or sell signal. So as we get to, oh, you know what? You know what, boys? We can't forget this trend line, right? So we've also got this. This would be, so how I would probably envision this, we're going to come down. We're going to take that hit. And then if it stabilizes here, two ways. Breaks, take a short. Stabilizes, you see a little bit of a move up, take a long, right? So you got a long option here, you got a short option here, you got a long option here. And technically, if you're more risk ready, you have a short option right here. So there's just a lot of positions to be in in this BTC play. But from what I see, a majority of it's gonna be a negative bearish play. So that's something to think about. But from what happened with BTC this week, Pepe went off, you guys. And I know it, it, it sucks that it was only really Pepe. There was a couple of meme tokens that were just hard to find. It wasn't very easy to gem hunt. But here's what happened with Pepe. In literally three days, I think, in 10 days. No, 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 in about six days, it went up about 109%. I didn't get to catch any of this, which sucks ass, but that's okay. That's okay. What does excite me though, is that as long as things are moving in the BTC market, the meme token market always recovers, right? I think a meme token's kind of like penny stocks, but just with a little bit more control, it's also a better market to look through. Anybody can create tokens. So there's a lot more capabilities with something like this. And it's not a bunch of governments involved with it. So this is kind of cool. Um, the 100% we see here, I don't know if it's going to sustain. We did take a, a stop kind of here. It became its new support or resistance here. Does In the meme market, TA doesn't always work perfectly. But in the meme market, you still can use TA because TA is basically just the psychology of all the humans combined trying to give you the patterns to make the best play decision. TA is never going to be perfect. And there's been many times I've done TA and actually taken a loss on a hit. But you always have a strategy. If you don't have a strategy, that's why people make that so important, then you're screwed either way. But with what happened here with Pepe means the meme market will grow in the next couple of months. Easy freaking peasy. One thing I want people to know, and some people have asked to like make a video, but the liquidity on this is 9.75 million. So I was thinking about it. Oh, actually, I'm sorry, I'm jumping. If we go to the article here, okay? There's a huge whale who deposited a lot of Pepe to OKX. If you are depositing tokens into an exchange, you're usually doing it to sell, right? From the years of me doing this, I know that fact right there. And it doesn't necessarily give us exactly what it is valued at today is just kind of giving us the estimates and I know Pepe is still moving a lot there, but this whale had roughly 4.96 million in OKX. I'm assuming it's one of the original founders, one of the original holders. I couldn't necessarily find the wallet, but then what got me interested was looking at the holders, right? So that's the nice thing about meme tokens. We can see the holders here and we see that 
this person's probably got about a percent or so of the supply at this current market rate today, right now. What that usually means though, is if you're moving it to an exchange like that, is you're gonna start trying to sell and remove some. Because here's the catch, you guys. Here's the biggest catch with meme tokens. Any of these people owning this much, yeah, they've got $5 million worth of value. If they sold right now, they would crash a chart by more than 60%, right? Because this correlated to this tells you how this is gonna move. That's fucking crazy. And, and if you think about this market cap here, I don't know the math on how they've got, so like, okay, in Pepe's point, we've got 9.7 divided by 500. So they've got 1% of the liquidity, which is what gives it the full market cap. That's fucking so stupid. And that is just the meme world, but that's something to think about. So I know a lot of us like always wanna like get super rich off meme tokens and make these fire ass trades and some work. But if you're always chasing these diamond plays, you have to know what value you're gonna be able to extract. And you cannot usually take more than 10 to 20% of the liquidity, unless you truly don't care and you're like an asshole fool. But that's, you're screwing over a lot of people if you do that. So think about this. If you are ever in these positions, you're never gonna be able to pull out that much liquidity anyway. So don't focus on that. Just focus on how well your play is and take out bits and pieces that you are able to pull. So just be smart about it when you are meme token hunting and playing and always double check the liquidity to the market cap when you're playing because that also determines how much percent value you can still go up or not. I mean like literally in like three, four days, 100% gain, that's not that great in the meme world, but it's also not that bad with how bad the entire market's been for every freaking play, whether it's real estate, like we all know it's not a great economy right now. So 100% play in three, four days on a meme token that's pretty stabilized compared to others is kind of a good play. So just think about it like that, have an open mind, keep checking these gems, keep watching Bitcoin, because whatever that does, everything will follow. And right now to me, it's looking a little bearish and I hope I'm wrong. I hope more than anything I'm wrong. I'm a huge long-term supporter. I mind Bitcoin. I love fucking, I love crypto, right? And I do hope I'm wrong, but it, it doesn't even matter if I'm right because it will stabilize and it will always find the value of number that it's supposed to be at thanks to all the people. Like, bro, what is the current market cap? I, I do want to just know. BTC market cap. I haven't looked at it in a minute. Yeah, we're at $667.95 billion. It's pretty freaking cool. Crypto is definitely here to stay at those types of numbers. It's valued more than a lot of stocks. Shit ton. All right, so anybody tells you crypto, idiots, idiots, okay? They just don't, they don't, they don't understand. And that's okay, you don't need to attack, all right? <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Thank you for watching. Do me a favor, please like, subscribe. I know I always ask at the end and I forget, but please like, subscribe, share. Keep watching the crypto market. Keep your eyes on Bitcoin and keep your text tools open on the side to find some gems that are coming up. All right, you guys? Have a good